What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again with Soundhead Entertainment, and we are back in NASCAR Heat 5 for our custom championship mode. Today, we're going to a track that is not normally on the Cup Series schedule, but it is for us. We are going to Mid-Ohio for a little modded road course madness. Let's see how it goes. Get to the corner. Get actually low into it. All right, final corner now. Get that power down. There we go. And cross the line for a pretty terrible lap, but it still gets his eighth place. Well, I will happily take that. That puts us on, what, row four? So I think we can make it work from row four. We make it ahead of the Dillon brothers, and up at the top is Kyle Busch, followed by Joey Logano, Eric Almarola, Ryan Newman, and Denny Hamlin. Let's see who blew it down here. Anybody? Oh, Brad, what are you doing, man? Using his Daytona road course skills again. Well, let's see how we fare here at Mid-Ohio as we rack them up. And look at the stories of the race. We've got Matt DiBenedetto fast in practice. That's nice. Kevin Harvick widened it up in qualifying. That's not nice. And Justin Haley failed tack. Well, you hate to see that too, don't you? And everybody will go to the back. We will hopefully go to the front. We are starting here on the outside. So hopefully we can get down to the inside relatively quickly because that's where I'd like to be for this first corner. Truex did not get the grid start. We're across the line. We might even get Denny Hamlin right here. And we do don't want to overdrive this corner, smoking him a little bit. Give me that curb. And we actually got through the first corner cleanly. Now, for a track that I don't have a lot of experience at, that is about as much of a win as I can ask for. For a start, diving it in there on the low side. Al Merola didn't even try to get down there. Don't know what he's doing, but Kyle Busch now has a pretty decent lead on all of us. So let's see what we can do about that. See if I can get that burst of speed down the straightaway off his draft. Looks like I'm getting absolutely nothing instead. We'll break for this corner nice and hard and try to turn it a little bit. I'm roll a gain on me a good bit there, it looked like. Wish up the curb. I'm getting up on two wheels a little bit. Gotta love them physics. Let's get it around this tight. I don't even know what number these corners would be. I literally know nothing about Mid-Ohio, which is tragic because it's such a fun course to watch most of the time. Oh, and that's not a corner, by the way. It's just a straight. And Al Merola's going to take his okay, chance to pounce, and I put him through the grass by. with a block. And he's not going to get through on the other side either. Come on, Al Merola. Fight me. You won't. Why am I asking this? Actually, leave me alone. I want to go fight Kyle. And then, I don't know how I would do in that if it turned physical, but maybe I'll bring Joey Legato. You got 20 laps to figure it out. 20 laps. Surely we can catch the AT car with 20 laps to go, right? Famous last words, right? Right as I'm gonna try him off the track. Brilliant. Let's see if we can gain some ground on Kyle here. Hard break, hard break. Not as hard as Almarola, good God! What an ass pack from downtown from Almarola just sends it in, turns my ass to bacon. Kyle's driving to the dirt up here. What's he doing? He's clipping grass. I'm messing this whole thing up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, helps if he used the paint parts, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little future reference. Excuse me, Amarola. I remember what you did to me moments ago, and I'm going to muscle my way right back on my if I can. You keep yourself in line, if you don't mind. Oh, and then I had to go in overdrive turn one. This is, this is. Amarola's pointing and laughing as he drives by, I guarantee it. And I would be too, but not for long. Because I blocked Lagana. We're sending it on you, Almarola. How do you like it? How do you like getting one from the moon? And he's, he just walks it off. Walks it off like a champ. I probably got more damage than anybody out of that. Oh, I am flustered now. All right. Well, Almarola, unfortunately, if you have got another heavy breaking zone that I don't think you're going to survive. And he's, he's dead. He's gone. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gone. No. The caution and everything. Are you serious? Joey, you were supposed to straighten me up. Spain with no S. Well, at well, least we've gotten ourselves on the front row. Ready. And Kyle is within the stratosphere. So let's try to make the most of it on the restart here. Let's see if we can get a little burst on the outside here. Oh, it we're works. It sticks. And then it doesn't stick. And then I eat my words immediately. Kyle Busch fighting back on the outside. I have a feeling I will Looking mess me. this corner Clear up by. trying to defend it, but we Nobody will hold him off. It looks like a little sideways. Not the prettiest entry and exit you'll ever see, but it got us to the lead, boys. That's what counts. Now, can I keep it? Oh, holy looseness, looseness. All right, Almarola. 
I see we meet again, my friend. Oh my God, Kyle, where are you going, bud? Absolutely no regard for Eric Almarola's life whatsoever. And we've got a pick. Well, we got knocked back quite a few rows there by the pit stop, but I believe we're good to go, or at least we should be, as I almost wrecked the car on the restart, which is not a promising sight, but we will try to send it down into turn one with a little bit more caution. We'll just throw it down on the apron exit of the pit road. If it's paved, I will use it. If it's not paved, I'll use it. And we've seen a couple of times already today. We're getting a massive run on all these cars. Everybody's stacking up and slowing down. And I hear bumping and banging all around us back there. And I do it relatively clean, except for that little door slam with none other than Daytona 500 champion Michael McDowell back there. How about that? Because we'll make some more passes Nobody here. We're just going to make, are we going to make a run for the lead right here even? Where are you guys at with your speed? Did these guys not pit? How did they screw this up? We're gonna get to this corner nice and easy, not get ass packed, and we will live for once. Yellow flag. And the caution comes out at a rather interesting time. Well, that'll put those other cars that didn't pit back there. All right, you're coming to the green. Well, now we've got Kyle Busch to deal with again, who was notoriously fast at the start of this All race. Clear. Eight laps to hold him off. Let's see if we can use this advantage of the brilliant restart speed that we seem to get as I drive it off track. Oh, I did not get that one down. We're going off. From the lead, he chokes it. That was Kurt Busch style. All clear, no pressure. Daytona behind. road course, just set it off into the grass. And now Kyle Busch is back to lead. Just what I did not need to have. Well, let's see if we can fight back for it here in turn one. Maybe we can get a little gain here, get some gains. No. Okay, all right, that works too, I guess. All right, is he just gonna check out on us now? This is our other big send spot. Can we do it right here? Oh, what a massive, massive send up on the curb. He's gonna cross me under. Get that drive off. Yeah, oh, I didn't. I got an absolutely horrid one, but so did he. We're going. What kind of sense does that make? I guess we held him up just enough. Scared his little scaredy cat AI driving the car today. Come on, Kyle, you gotta be more of a, oh my God, he sent it on me. He's packing me. And he's gonna wreck himself doing it, this guy. Not even trying to make the pass, just reminding me he's there. What a bum. Oh, that's too deep. Again, I stink. Well, at least I saved him from going off all the way, I guess. And we're gonna get passed by Ty Dillon in a car that doesn't exist anymore. RIP to the we're guy Code 13, I guess. We hardly knew you. Well, actually, we knew you quite well. You were around for a while and you sucked for most of the time, but. It is what it is. That's what I'm doing around here, so can't blame you. Oh, no, 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 the lightness. Oh, there's nothing more I hate than my 3,000 pound race car. Just randomly lifting up off the ground for no good reason in certain corners. That's my favorite feature. Let's see if I can send it and get some of these spots back right here. Almarola, I'll set it up your inside all day. I'll never forget what you did to me. All clear. Even though it's been paid back tenfold. I'm like Jimmy Spencer, I never forget. See if I can wreck Kurt Busch in honor of Jimmy Spencer going into this next corner, maybe. That, that'd be something to do, huh? I think rather we'll get by him cleanly. All oh, clear. look who it is. I almost overdrove the corner. I saw that yellow 22 and I almost vomited. My day 2500 feelings are still hurt. Come on, Joey. I'll, I'll go easy on you. I don't know who's really to blame, but I, I, you know who's to blame? My mother for dropping me clean down every flight of stairs in the hospital when I was born, because that's the only way I can explain the breaking maneuver that I just attempted. Yeah, hi, Brennan Gone. I think I'm gonna replace Brennan Gone in the next episode, so get a good look at him while you can. I have a pretty good idea for a car that's gonna go over him, but what? I got a pit. What kind of noise is that? Oh, nice. Look ahead for me. Oh, looks like everybody's pitting, so let's go. Oh my, yep. All right, I am just glued to the grass. Let's not speed. Let's not shoot ourselves in the foot any more than we need to. Looks like we made it clear. I guess we'll uh, one can. Should we do two tires maybe? Try to make this as fast as possible. It's kind of a run to the end here. Well, I guess we'll try it. I want to watch the uh, green flag animation. I feel like we, or the green flag pit stop animation, rather. I feel like we don't see this very often, so. Here we go. Look at him go. We actually get to see him do it for once. This is 
do. All right, they only did half the car, too. That's right. All right, well, there you go. Nice job, Take guys. Get back in there. Let's go. They're usually beating the hell out of this thing and trying to get it back into shape after I kill it, so props to them. That's usually just off camera. We got some cars on pit road here. Let's see what kind of spots we gain as we start to cycle back through with two laps to go. Gonna pop out in 11th. All right, so we gotta hunt down that top 10 then. I think that's a nice mark to shoot for at this point. The blood is in the water, Justin. White flag is in the air and I smell weakness. We're sending it, baby. Oh, we're not sending it. I can't get it to stick. I guess we're gonna race with Justin Haley a little bit more, and then Ryan Blaney's quickly approaching, and he's much faster than both of us, I do believe, so I'm gonna have to play no the uh, big fat block here on the inside. And then I overdrive the corner and leave it wide the hell open. That is just masterful race strategy right there, ladies and gentlemen. Take notes. And my car is beat all the hell. My tires are indeed dead. Blaney, you stay the hell away Wait from me back there. Oh, okay. Uh, well, all right then. I guess I'll just go for myself. Uh, top 10. Thanks, NASCAR Heat. A little freebie right there, because Ryan Blaney was almost certainly going to come for our ass within those next couple of corners and steal it from us, so I'll take it. I will take the handout all day, every day. So after a bit of a lackluster finish that I am slightly frustrated with, but will accept, uh, we'll check out some of these replays, such as the glorious dumping of Almirola. Then you got William Byron, old Bill, just uh, going for a ride, maybe off the bumper of Martin Truex Jr. It looks like according to NASCAR Heat, then he just pulls it right back on track, and uh, we might have to get this man a breathalyzer. But Bill, what are you doing? So that covers the replays. Now we will look at the race results, and we still all finish a lap down whenever it goes to a uh, overtime finish like that, when it ends under caution. So Kyle Busch gets the dub. No real surprise there. Ty Dillon with a very respectable second. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary in the top 10. Brennan gone and his probable last start in this series before I swap him for someone else is uh, pretty good. Brad Kozlowski at 20th. That's a bit depressing uh, as a Kozlowski stand. And then hopefully you saw where your favorite driver finished in this race. And hopefully he didn't finish like garbage like John Hunter Nemechek did. And Martin Truex Jr. too had a rough, rough going thing. So Denny Hamlin looks like he's extending his points lead on us by quite a bit there. And then we have Kyle Busch, who looks like he's getting on us from behind with his two wins on the season now. And he's got his big brother backing him up from behind. Then Cole Custer in fifth. Eric Almirola sixth. Chase Elliott, fan favorite. MPD in seventh. Ryan Newman, the Rocket Man in eighth. Eric Jones and Kevin Harvick round out the top deck. Well, there you have it. Back at the shop now to collect our official results. Finishing in the top 10, I guess I can't complain about. We should be winning more races, though. Hopefully we can do that next time here at Gateway or WWT Raceway, which is where we are headed next. That will be a fun, another non-cup track that we'll be trying out here in the Custom Championship. And keep your eyes peeled for some new cars in that one as well. Maybe some new drivers too. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe. As always, it helps me out a ton. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.